Bro Show. Yes, ma'am. What are you doing here? Uh, I did not think I was going to see you for at least another couple of weeks. What happened? That was the idea. I wanted to go all the way. Um, you know what? I was just battling from the start. I was put in a position where I had to win a couple of competitions to stay in the game. Two of my closest allies left, and um, I was just uh, a big target in the house, and I'm here because of that. Now, of course, there's always a way to leverage that, mm -hmm. right? Especially mm -hmm. when there's a block in the house. Do you think you did the best you could do to leverage your position as somebody who unapologetically was going to be going after some of the power players in the house? Yeah, exactly. Um, when Kyle left this game, it was honestly a blessing in disguise for me because it made me play this game uh, as more of an individual. And so the strategy I took from there is like, okay, like let's play this as if I'm on an island. I have nobody in the house. All I do is sit on the couch all day and not talk to anybody, mm -hmm. but also make it very clear to some of the other players in the house who I was going after. And those people in control shouldn't be in control. And I wanted to build this resistance. Mm -hmm. The problem was after Kyle left, Austin left, and the players that I had to work with, you know, didn't necessarily make up the best army for me. And so, as much as <laughs> as much as hey. I tried, <laughs> as much as I tried, um, it just didn't get done. And I think at the end of the day, uh, I might have been the only one that wasn't too scared to take the shot. And unfortunately, that's why I'm here right now. You know, that is a strategy that has worked for players in the past, mm -hmm. where if you name your target, everybody mm -hmm. knows that. Sometimes people will leave you alone because they're like, okay, well, he's not coming for me. Right. Um, what are you trying to say about the players who are left in that? I mean, listen, mm -hmm. Ty, Jed, and Beth mm -hmm. have never so much as touched the block. That's right. That's right. Are you surprised that there isn't more, like, fight in some of the other players? Yeah. So, you know, Jed, uh, Ty, and Beth, not touching the block is an amazing feat. That's actually something that I said I wanted to do coming into the house is not touch the block. And <laughs> that's, that's something that you can really pitch in the final two when you're talking yeah. to the jury. And I ended up being on the block five times, so it didn't work out for me. Five times? Um, is that right? Uh, if you include the first week where six of us were on the block, oh yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, so, you know, for me, when I talk about this army, um, there are p different players play differently, right? I think I'm more of a rational player. Um, whereas you look at players like Kiefer and Victoria, I think they made a couple of rash and emotional decisions that affected my place in the house. And when we got rid of Latoya, I think by far that was the best move that we could have made and keep Kiefer. Mm -hmm. And when Kiefer won that HOH, naturally any rational person would have put up two of the three people that voted against him. And he didn't do that. He put up Kyle and I on the block. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. You weren't really voting for him to stay. You were yeah. voting yeah. for Latoya to go. Yes. I think that's why that argument never worked for him. Exactly. That, that might have been the case for sure. And obviously Kiefer and Kyle and I had a brush up early in the game, so that mm -hmm. could have had something to do with it. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know what? Kiefer was sitting in his room alone for the whole week that he was on the block, and Jed, Tashan, and Beth were nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. And um, after Kiefer won HOH, they were up in his HOH room, you know, bumping him up and taking shots with him and um, doing all that good stuff. And I don't know if he let that play into his decision to put Kyle and I on the block, but at the end of the day, whether we were voting to evict Latoya as opposed to save Kiefer, there were six people that kept him in this house. And I was so sure that if he had won that HOH, he would have put two of the three up, but he didn't. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I would say that I would assume Kiefer would have feelings after, say, the yeah. pantry incident. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. Um, but ultimately, it was very, very interesting watching you navigate the game, because it's true, you did lose a lot of allies yeah. along the way. Mm -hmm. You lost Kyle. Yeah. You guys had such a pure... Yeah. Romance. It was so beautiful to watch. Shout out to Showtime. Showtime, baby. What do you think Kyle is thinking, you know, watching this on the outside? Uh, I think Kyle's a little disappointed right now, honestly. After he left, two of his next closest allies left, and Austin and myself. I think he wanted to see either one of us two or Braden go on to win this game. And Braden still got a shot to go on and win mm -hmm. this game. Um, I, I feel bad that Kyle did, let, did leave when he did. I do feel partially responsible for him being on the outside. Um, but you know what? Kyle plays with his heart. Um, he's a very, you know, he comes off very tough, but he's a very sensitive guy. And um, that's part of what drew me to him. And at the end of the day, I didn't win this game, but the relationship that I built with Kyle and that friendship that I have there is one of the best things that I'm going to take away. Beautiful. And I've seen mm -hmm. it before. I've been yes. hosting the show for a long time, yeah. but I've seen people come out with these friendships that last the rest of their life. It's yes. so beautiful to see. We loved to see it. Just yeah. so you know, we loved it. Um, you. When you were preparing to come into the house and you were doing your, you know, your, your bio and 
you know, you talked about what kind of player you wanted to be. Yeah. You were like, I am very comfortable being a villain. Yeah. I want to be cold, yeah. calculated, bloodless. Yep. Was that the reality? Uh, no, <laughs> it was not. Uh, I definitely wanted to come in and be all those things because I think those players are entertaining to watch. And yes, I wanted to win this game, but I also wanted to be entertaining. I wanted to give people a reason to tune in three times a week to the show. And, you know, for me, the villain did that. And so I wanted to come in and play that part. But I realized very quickly with the relationships that I developed in such a short period of time, when you spend so much time with them. Oh my God, no phones, no distractions. It's exactly. You just have people to talk to and you learn about people and their lives. And I developed emotional connections to people. And I think that showed a couple of times, which I'm sure people at home have seen at this point. And um, yeah, I think I turned from what I wanted to be into something else. And that's totally fine with me. Well, listen, I do want to also still shout out your parents for creating this absolute champion. I mean, <laughs> thank you, mom and dad. I appreciate you. <laughs> that was yes. so fun. Yeah. Um, what do you think of the layout of the house right now? I'd love to get your thoughts on mm -hmm. that. Uh, layout of the house right now. So you talked about Jed, uh, Beth, and Tashawn, how they have never touched the black. And, you know, people will come up to me and say, well, they've only won one competition. And at this point, two and, and three, because Beth won HOH and, and Ty just won that last veto. Mm -hmm. um, but competition wins don't mean everything in this game. I said that from early on. I didn't want to win a whole lot of competitions. They haven't. Um, but they have been able to talk their way through this game and get on people's good sides and make people do things for them. And honestly, I respect that. I respect the games that they have played. And I think the three of them are in a very strong spot right now. Uh, Kiefer, so Kiefer, obviously, we had our run in early on. Since then, bygones are bygones. Um, he took the shot at me again and he hit this time. But Kiefer's won two HOHs and he's still playing both sides. Um, I didn't want to call him out on it again, but that's what he has to do in order to get to the end. And so respect to him for doing that. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, Tina and Tara, very, very good people. Um, very good people. I was close with them throughout the course of this game. Uh, I think it's going to be tough for them to win, uh, quite frankly, at this point, if I'm just being honest about it. And Brayden. Brayden um, has played such an incredible game. Uh, I think he's had good relationships with everybody. And if he gets to the end, he's got a serious shot at this thing. I, I truly believe that. And, uh, and if Brayden gets to the end, uh, I do hope that uh, he wins this. Well, there's a lot of parallels, of course, between you and Brayden mm -hmm. and yep. you and Kyle. Yep. Um, both you and Brayden lost your other half. That's right. Um, Pre-jury. And then in some ways, it like kind of gave your games new life because mm -hmm. suddenly you were forced to actually go beyond that, which was really, really fun to see. Mm -hmm. um, again, you know what killed me? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be totally honest with yep. you as a super fan. Yes. When you were sitting on the couch during this double with Brayden mm -hmm. and you were just sitting there. Yep. And I was like, you only need three votes. Yep. Even if you had said, hey, Kiefer, you know what nobody would expect? Mm -hmm. If, you know, you use me to take out people you wouldn't want to, because, mm -hmm. you know, you could say, what, like, what is your path to, yep. to, to the win? Yep. Um, but even aside from that, if Kiefer was not hearing you, yep. you really only needed one more vote outside of Tina and Tara. That could have been Beth, that could have been Judd, that could have been Ty. All you had to say is, how are you going to win with this? Who's going to take them out for you? Mm -hmm. Why did you try harder? Yeah, um, and, and I can appreciate that perspective for sure. And I, I, I understand that people at home probably think that same way too. Um, for me, being in there with those people, uh, I, for me, the writing was on the wall. And they had had a meeting prior to when I talked to Deshaun after the veto. Um, and they already discussed their options. They already made a decision at that point. So, yes, I talked to Tashan because I think actually Tashan was probably most likely to keep me out of the three of them. Mm. Um, and then maybe Beth and then lastly Jed. I think Jed for sure wanted me out of this game, uh, which is fine. Um, I just don't think it would have happened. And uh, uh, people at home can sit there and say that I didn't try in that you scenario. You, you, were being, that, you were just... Yeah. Doing Rohan, you're being just, logical yeah. because logically yeah. you got it. I was I think. just being logical and rational. In we the just situation. wanted to see that yeah. fight, you know, that you've really shown yeah. us because, as like a veto king, like you are mm -hmm. up there with some of the greats, yeah. Kayla mm -hmm. and Kevin, even some of the greats in North America. So you mm -hmm. still have that. You yep. will always have that mm -hmm. to rely on. Um, what do you think Victoria is going to say when you roll up to Shuri? <laughs> Uh, I would like to think that Victoria doesn't hold it against me because, it, honestly, I genuinely love Victoria. I think she's a great person. I think she's a fan of this game. And I, and I was true in my goodbye message to her. I did want to see her go far. Um, and I had intentions to work with her. But uh, so some things that had happened in the game made me feel that she was a little bit too sporadic. And if I did keep her, it could have been a good thing. I'm not going to lie. It could have been a good thing. And I did consider it strongly. Mm -hmm. um, but I just didn't know what decisions she was going to make when she put Austin and Braden on the block as an individual, a visible HOH. 
For me, optics looks like she's working with Jed, Beth, and Tashan. And if she were to win HOH again, maybe I get slapped on the block with Braden. So, you know, that's why I made the decision I did. And um, maybe it was the wrong one and maybe I'll regret it. But at the end of the day, this is a game. This is a game. Yeah. This is, and it's not over for you yet. Yes. Can't wait to see you in jury. Can't wait to see you at finale. It's going to yes. be amazing. Uh, be sure to join us next week at 10 p.m. live for TikTok, on TikTok, for another interview with the next evicted house guest. But Rohan, the Roe Show, it hurts. This one hurts. But uh, great to have you in our house this year. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you.